earlier in the show we launched the uh, the cutest baby contest. So we're telling people to send us in their baby pictures and uh, we'll be looking at them over the next week and then winners all announced next week. How to take that perfect picture is the question. Uh, and I'd love to have Sarah McConnell joining us. She's a photographer specializing pretty much babies and children. Your work has been amazing. Thank you. And you've got some wonderful ideas to help parents really have some better tips so that they can capture those the great you know smiles and the cute things of their kids. Exactly. I love it when you come to see me, but if you want to just take it to a few pictures around your house, there's lots of different ways, lots of things you can use. Um, and we're going to use yours. Yeah. Congratulations, by Thank the way, you. I should mention. This is three-month-old Colin. He's the youngest of your three boys. My three boys, A little yes. crazy in your household right now. Yeah, the most cooperative <laughs> of the three, so we'll use him today. Perfect. Okay. We'll start with um, just some quick ideas that you're saying sure. are lying around the house that you can exactly. easily find. So the first one is a bath mat. If you have a baby who is laying, you know, not up and mobile yet, put them on their back on the bath mat and then take a photo from above them. If you have a baby who's crawling, a little trickier to get them sitting still. So what you want is this basket here. What I'll normally do is sort of sit the crawler in it mm -hmm. or have someone else do it so you can take the shot really quickly before they realize they're sort of sitting there a little confused, like I'm in something, I can't get away. Then you have the perfect chance to get them sitting still before they take off on you. But the edges of the basket kind of help for that exactly. split Exactly. While they're looking, they're curious, it mm -hmm. stops them. This here, um, I'll put Colin okay. down and show you. So right underneath here is just a yoga mat. And so I've covered it up with a blanket. And if you have a baby who's holding up their heads, you can just prop them down so that their elbows are up on the blanket. See, he's tired. Yes. But uh, so they're holding their heads up. Probably be a little bit older. Of a, an little age, bit right? older a little bit yeah. older. And then the last one is actually just a laundry basket. Oh. And inside are pillows. And so then again, you're going to take the photo from above them um, so that you have the blanket and not your carpet or floor in the photo instead. So a little bit prettier backdrop. Well, that's the thing. And you can create it easily, you know. I, I didn't know that you had pillows underneath there, but no. lots of little tricks to be able to there do is. that. There is. See, it's just my regular old laundry basket mm -hmm. with some kids' pillows and a blanket underneath. Uh, and this idea too, the uh, the yoga mat or anything that will hold them up so that they can be in that uh, more yeah. upright position. And uh, you, I've seen I some did. of these in your photo. You've got uh, lots yeah. of these. So we have lots of hats for girls and boys. If you have headbands, hair clips, um, anything you have, I'm sure you've gotten gifts from aunts, uncles, grandparents. Mm -hmm. um, you can just add them into the shot. Uh, and did you, in terms of clothing, I know sometimes sometimes the cutest shots are just a, a nice just kind them. of... Just them. Just them with a diaper on. Today he's wearing a button-up shirt and jeans. Um, I would recommend staying away from really tight patterns, so like checks or really little fine lines. Bright colors are always lots of fun. You know, you don't have to go black and white clothes. Fun, mm -hmm. colorful, like the color you're wearing today. It looks fabulous in pictures. And with kids, you can get away with pretty well any color. Uh, great tips right here. And of course, uh, you can send in your pictures. I know you're going to be looking to take some for this contest. But for you, a lot of the pictures that you do right now outside, you'll be moving into your outside. studio. So you have many sessions going on I right do. now. I do. I have many sessions in September and October. I'm, I'm going to the Arboretum, the Ornamental Gardens, and Petrie Island in Orleans. So great little sh short sessions for families so kids don't have a lot of attention span. Mm -hmm. So we get them done quickly. Um, and then November, December, we're in the studio when the weather isn't so nice anymore. The thing that you were just saying, though, is already, and you know, I'm trying to just think back to school. There are some families that are already thinking ahead. They You've already are. started taking some Christmas photos. Yes, you know, I have but... already started doing Christmas photos in August. But it, there's beautiful shots to be taken if, if you're looking is. for that nice natural shot outside. We are so lucky to live in Ottawa. I could name 15 different places that are fabulous for family photos outside. It's a great city for, for, uh, for photography. Okay, and for people who are looking for more information, sarahmcconnell.ca is your website. It is my website. Uh, and of course, you just mentioned lots of mini sessions that are happening, mm -hmm. especially outside for the next two months and then heading and indoors then inside, as well. Yeah. Don't save yours for the very last one like Don't you did wait last like year. I did last year, no. <laughs> uh, and great tips as well. And good Thank luck you. for those of you who are looking to enter your cutest baby uh, into our cutest baby contest, Ottawa Contest at ctv.ca. Take a lot of these examples, uh, great uh, tips in terms of how to get capture that perfect shot. Uh, the contest, once again, we're looking for your baby, or baby you know. Let us know why you think they're the cutest. And they could win, of course, those birthday parties courtesy of Tiny Hoppers plus the little gift baskets that they came in. Ottawa Contest at ctv.ca.